Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be talking about the Access Point Wi-Fi 6 Mesh from Ubiquity or Unify. This is a mesh unit. They used to have the Wi-Fi 6 one. I'm not sure why they changed the name and convention of this because you can wire this through backhaul and then, you know, not mesh it, but they have their own reason for it. So today we're going to look at it. We're going to unbox one. I did buy four since I have a large house. Uh, one goes downstairs, no, two go downstairs with one in the garage and then two at the, each end of the uh, second floor to kind of get that coverage. So let's talk a little bit about the access point. Uh, that is the Wi-Fi 6, right? It is uh, it is rated for indoor and outdoor. It has four by five, four by four Wi-Fi 6. Um, it's designed to do mesh. So that's one of the reasons I bought it. I'm going from an Amplify system to this Unify system, which Ubiquity makes. Um, as you know, I've already unboxed the uh, UDM Pro SE uh, Special Edition, which comes with power over ethernet, which is what's needed to power these. You can use the actual uh, injector that they give you, but I won't be using that. I'll actually be using the uh, uh, UDM Pro SE to power each one of these. Um, uh, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about this. Um, it does have, uh, like I said, it's rated aggregated up to 4.3 gigabits on the five gigahertz, which is four by four uh, MIMO. And then it has the 2.4 gigahertz, which is two by two MIMO bands. Um, this access, access point actually operates at full four by four with 160 megahertz channels to create high capacity wireless uh, uplinks and facilitate faster data throughput. Um, I could have got the uh, Wi-Fi 5, but I saw these available, so I went ahead and just upgraded them. Um, a lot of our devices are starting to be Wi-Fi 6, especially in our family since we have the uh, iPhones and iPads and MacBooks. So a lot of them are now Wi-Fi 6 capable. So we went ahead and got that and uh, kind of future proofing myself for now. A um, couple of things I'll mention about this, right? It is power over ethernet and that is uh, powered with 802.3 AF. Or as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, you can use the PoE adapter that is included. Keep in mind, um, if you don't have one, you could purchase it at uh, Ubiquity when they are in stock and they're about $8 a pop. And you can probably get those, I believe the last time I saw it was either white or black. So they give you a little bit of variety. So that's good. Um, a couple of other things that we'll talk about is going to be the actual mechanical part about this, right? They're made out of plastic as well as aluminum. So has a little bit of both things. Um, uh, the interfaces that we'll use for ourselves is uh, Bluetooth. Uh, it does connect through ethernet, which is how it's powered. Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and remove these other ones and start unboxing it so that you can get an idea of what this looks like, okay? Let's move these out of the way for now and then we'll go ahead and leave one out here and we'll go ahead and open that one and go through the opening of it here we go let's go ahead and bring this right here for you all right we're just gonna do a solid x not sure why but that's what i did i'm sure i scratched the box up yeah i feel it <laughs> there we go so let's look at this right here all right i like how they describe it online it is like a coke can but a uh, slim coke can Here's one side of it, all right, and then here's the other side of it. Cover all the important information up for you. We'll flip it around to this side. We have that, back to the front, up top, back, and it seems to have the Unify logo everywhere, all right? So let's go ahead and uh, take this out, slowly. You know, I really love the way this is uh, presented in box, very uh, minimalistic, clean looking. Um, so I do like that. Um, you know, just reading on the internet, I was, I found it, I found out that the person who owns this company, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, came from Apple as well. Um, so that's something to think about. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this and take out the contents of here. So we have the cable here. Look at that package really well. Okay. So first thing we'll take out is this injector. Here's the injector. Okay. Let's take out the injector right quick and put these right here for you for you can kind of look at them. Here's the injector. Comes really well packaged. So let's check it out. Take it out of the bag. 
There we go. U P O E A F, like I mentioned earlier. I'll let you zoom in on that. There's that. It can be mounted on the wall with this right here. You take this off, mount this part on the wall, and then connect it back and slide it back in. So very well. As you can tell right here, I'll, I'll bring that up a little close to you to get kind of, it says POE and then the landline. So that's where the power, it gets its power. And then the other part is where you connect it to your switch. Um, like I mentioned, I won't use this because I actually have an SC. So the SC allows me to have to not worry about this particular piece. So that's good. We'll put that right there. Okay, let's pop this out. Now we have the, the next part, which is the cord. Here's the cord. Here's a strap in case you want to pull mount it or something. All right, so let's look at the cord. Pretty typical cord. Um, has covering on the actual plug itself, so it comes packaged really well. Normal standard cord, as you can tell. It looks like a PC cord sometimes or something along the lines of that. All right. Let's take this one out. We'll put that right here for right now. All right, let's see what else we have in the box here. We have a little piece of paper that you can scan so that you can go and set this up here to get started, it says. Scan here to get started. All right. And in the back of it's got the little scan uh, thing. All right, so here we have the pole mount. All right, this is where you would use, see these two holes is where you would use this right here with to pole mount it. The one that I will be using will more than likely be this one right here because I am going to set it up on a actual desk. So this will sit like this, like that. It has a supposedly little rubber mounts. Actually, this goes on the, the pole mount too, my bad. Um, then we have our screws. So Ubiquiti really gives you everything or Unify really gives you everything that you need in order to get this started. So there's all the items. All right, so let's go ahead and put these back and we'll go ahead and put all of this back since we're not gonna be using quite a bit of this. I, I will tell you, everything is extremely well packaged. Um, can't complain there one bit. So we'll put that back in there like that. All right, we'll put this also here. Put that there, put that here. Put that there and we'll go ahead and move that to the side. Um, you can see everything that comes with it right there. Let's put it back in the box. All right, everything is now back in the box. So we'll put that to the side so it doesn't bother us. Um, here's this piece right here. Very heavy. It's actually really got good weight on it. That's what I like about it. It's got really good weight on it. Let me show you how, I mean, that's how big it is right there, you know. Um, let me give you an idea of something. It's This is just a remote that I have for a turntable that you've probably seen on some of my videos rotating. It's not that much bigger than a remote. The actual length of this is. So here we go. There you go, right there. Okay, so it's about six inches. I mean, it's a little bit more than six inches, but I'm gonna go with six and a quarter, right? So it kind of gives you an idea. So let's look at the other way. There you go. Not bad at all. All right, so now that we've done that, we can go ahead and move on to the next part, which is removing these plastic items and we'll go from there. So the first thing we have is this plastic piece up here. Let's go ahead and take that off. That felt good. Everybody loves taking, peeling the plastic off. It's like a new baby car. All right, we have one more eco-friendly, this part right here which just rolls out there you go you know i gotta admit i really really love the texture of this feels really good in the hands here's where you would uh slide this piece off right here and you would connect the ether the ethernet cable in there here it is right here give you a chance to look at it there's that part right there with another scan item um, if you look real close in here, you'll see the actual reset button and it's got all the usual federal trade uh, certifications and all that. Um, so that's very good. So this just goes back in here like so, put it in there. And then this just sits on the counter like that. And it the, the actual rubber, this piece right here is really grippy. So I don't see that moving one bit. You saw my camera shake. That's how good of a, uh, 
it grabbed onto everything. So very well made, no complaints there. Let's just go ahead and look at the rest of these items that came in and put it right back in the uh, video before we call it a, an actual video and an unboxing. This is just more of an unboxing, not an actual total review because I wanna set this up a little bit later and see what else, how everything looks on it, right? Um, but this is basically everything that comes with it, right? All the bare necessities, right? So nothing more, nothing less, right? So you you, you, you get what you need and that that's all, right? So. That's the good part about this, is that you get everything that you need. Um, here's the other box right here. I'll put it here. So let's move everything over a little. So put it right there, move that. There we go. And then of course, the last thing we have is the actual power cable right here. There we go. That's everything that came in the box. Um, you know, Looking forward to setting this up here at my house to see what kind of speeds I get, but more importantly, to get the stability as well as what I'm looking forward to is monitoring it. Um, I do like tech. I, I, I've had their Amplify system, which is the uh, Amplify HD. It's done nothing but good for me. No complaints there. I had the Alien as well, as well but I figured let's go ahead and kick it up a notch. And this is supposedly enterprise, but it's uh, a lot of homeowners are adopting this. And for us here at home, it's more about the constant connection. Um, you can see here on the on either the top or left-hand corner, I'll show you a quick little video uh, of this that I put up on the uh, YouTube shorts. But uh, you know, what I like about this is the able to customize everything. VLANs, uh, filtering, intrusion prevention, which is part of what I like. Um, I'll be connecting this to, like I mentioned a few minutes ago, a UDM Pro SE, which is special edition. And all that means is it comes with a solid state drive as well as uh, power over ethernet and a couple of different other items. So it's a good upgrade. I thought I was thinking between this and the UR, I actually did buy a UR, but I ended up selling that um, and getting the uh, UDM Pro SE only because I plan to have more than two cameras. Um, and I was going, to meet the limitation on that. So this one should be able to handle it. Um, if I add any additional cameras, I'll add a uh, NVR and I'll do an unboxing of that one as well, just to give you that. But, you know, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Consider leaving me a comment, subscribing, and I'll talk to everybody on the next one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.